guys, so I'm going to be teaching you guys how to bunny hop bar spin or just bar spin in general. So I reckon the most important thing is, um, unlike me, just wear like shin pads or protection and stuff because that'll help with your confidence. The confidence trick. So like just wear gloves, wear padding on your shins and stuff, wear proper shoes. I tried in vans and like died a few times. So, so obviously firstly you need to be able to at least, at least just pick up your front wheel. At least do that. But it would be a lot better if you could bunny hop. So I'd say before learning any trick basically on your bike, learn how to bunny hop. I won't make a video on that because there's loads of tutorial. And obviously you need a bike that has a cable to allow you to spin your bars. So, or you can just take the brake off. More bike setup stuff is like, raise your seat, like, like a fist height. What I did is I had like a really race type saddle. Took foam sponges, I'll maybe insert a picture. And I zip tied it to like the sides so I can pinch better. It worked and made it wider and made it more comfortable. So, And if you can get short cranks, sometimes a wheel hits your foot. First step really is um, trying to figure out like which way to throw the bars and which hand to throw it with. I think it's if your right foot forward and you throw it through right hand. And it's the same with if you had to T-bog and stuff. And if you left foot forward, you would go like that. I'm going to use that wall. Lean your back wheel against the wall. And this is where pads come into handy. Because you use the pedal to keep your front wheel up. And then you can learn the throwing motion. I changed my mind because I don't want to get tire marks on my new house. You throw as far as you can. Preferably past 90. And then you let go. And then you want to catch with your opposite hand as early as possible. So you come around, you catch as early as possible. Bring the, your opposite hand in, so it's already there. When you get comfortable, you can start doing it more swiftly. Or you can bus drive it, but your hand tends to land there. So if you just throw it, it's better. So essentially the first step is to learn like chicken bars. What you want to learn first is just picking up your front wheel and just doing that exact same throwing technique. For some people it's scary to commit first. So what I did was you can just have your feet off the side to your bike and start like lifting up your bike like you would like in a manual or whatever. Lift it up and then just lift and throw to build your confidence up. Yeah I'll practice that until you're confident to move on to the next step I'm about to show you. So now the next step is actually like the pull up bar, just the front wheel lift up. What I'd say is, if you look there, instead of your foot being like in the middle of the pedal, have it on the edge so it doesn't hit the front, oh your front wheel doesn't hit your foot. Lift up your front wheel but you don't use too much arms, you just kind of use your body weight. Because if you use arms, then your arms are going to be bent and it's going to be difficult to throw. So just throw it back. You can try and make like a L shape with L shape. You go down and then back. Do that again. But just quickly. Once you're confident with that, it's all confidence. Just work your way up. You want to start practicing pinching. Now, when I first learned, I would pinch before the manual, and that's wrong. You want to pinch after you've initiated the manual because imagine like you're going up a ramp and you're pinching up the takeoff. That's just not going to be good. So and then pinch. It doesn't have to be an amazing pinch, it would help. But also what you can do, you can position your feet as close as close to the cranks as possible and like squeeze with your feet as well. You're just doing a small little and pinch. Have it like pinching the crank. It's gonna be on the edge so the front wheel doesn't hit your and you're gonna squeeze and that's just gonna bring your knees closer to the seat and it's gonna give you more to like grab onto. Just send it, just like your first full send, pretty much. Remember that exact same technique. So instead of doing this, just do that. Focus on bringing your hand in. Get your wheel up decent height, so you have more time. Make sure you're pinching and then throw it. Get comfortable with those. Then you want to move on to the bunny hop. If you want, that thing with the feet on your sides, again, practice bunny hopping. A good tip that I've learned, and it won't work that well now because my frame's bent. What you do is you bunny hop, pinch your seat and you land no-handed and you want to ride away. 
and that's just gonna teach you like where to keep your body weight and stuff to keep the bike balanced and all that so I'll try but I don't know if I'll get it because my frame's bent so you want a bunny hop, proper bunny hop where you lift your front wheel first then your back wheel not those bunny hops when you lift both you get more height with the proper bunny hop like with the front wheel you want to pinch while you're in the air not while you're taking off oh then pinch oh then pinch pinch when you throw the bike forward so you know in a bunny hop you like lift your bike then you go forward but if you throw the bike forward then the seats are ready by your knees so it just makes life easier so now you're getting pretty close to learning it. Um, what you can do is lie down on your back and pinch the seat and so I can't be bothered doing that to show you but yeah. But you kind of just need to send it now. You can do it on grass but I find that it's harder to bunny hop like higher enough. So what you can do, ride from harder surface where you get more pop into grass. And also another tip is to do them as like stationary as possible because if you're moving when you're moving, it's kind of hard to commit to a full throw because you you don't want to land like this and then get thrown over. If you're just stationary, if you land like this. Bruh. If you're stationary, it won't matter, so. So I find that when I hop, my technique kind of goes out the window and it's also just like, I don't know what it is. You just, your mind's so rushed, but just try focus on throwing with one hand and as soon as you throw, try get this hand off as soon as possible and bring it into like your lap so you can catch the bar. You see what happened there is, I didn't even get the bars fully around, but since I was going so slow, I didn't die. I just shin myself, so... That goes back to me saying we're Pat. That is how to bassman and bunny hop T-bog and bunny hop tie tap.